and welcome to my virtual museum tour. I'm so glad that you guys can join us and I'm super excited to go through these paintings and talk about them. So this first one is the Arnolfini portrait. It is painted by Jean Van Eyck and it was in 1434 and it currently sits at the National Gallery. So this painting has two people in it and we believe that they are getting married. And um, as you can see, the woman is very swollen, but that does not mean that she's pregnant. It just means she's healthy and um, that they are very rich. And so in the, in the back of the painting, you can see a mirror. Um, and I find this mirror super interesting because you can see the artist painting them in the mirror, obviously. Um, but around the painting are little, little, little tiny uh, paintings of like the life of Jesus Christ throughout of it, throughout it. And what's super cool is that this is made out of oil, painted with oil. And so to get those tiny little details were super impressive back then. But yeah, now we will go on to the next painting. So this is the School of Athens by Raphael. And it was painted with fresco on a wall in the room of the signature in the Vatican in Rome. And it was painted um, in 1509, uh, between 1509 and 1511. And as you can see, there's a, a lot of different characters throughout the painting. Um, but the most two fam famous ones are Aristotle and Plato. And they are in this room and it's very revolutionary for its time because it, it seems like you can walk right into the room that these people are in. This is a very intense and contrast painting by Caravaggio. It is called The Calling of St. Matthew and it resembles a story in the Bible. And so as we can see, um, there's lots of light and dark throughout the painting. And we can see Jesus Christ over here um, in kind of below the light and he's pointing towards Matthew. He's calling him to become one of his apostles. But what we do not know is which one is Matthew. It could be either the one who's, he could be pointing to himself or pointing to the guy next to him who's messing with the money because he's a tax collector. But we do not know who Matthew is. Vermeer paint, painted this one in 1664. It is called A Woman with a Balance. And so as we can see, there is a woman and he, she is also swollen, but again, not pregnant. She's just healthy. Um, but she is weighing gold coins. And what's interesting is that behind her is the painting by Michelangelo's The Last Judgment. And what's even more cool about this is actually a super tiny painting. And so for Vermeer to paint this woman um, and the little, the gold and the pearls and The Last Judgment all in the painting is very impressive because it was super small. So this one is one of my absolute favorites. It's called The Course of the Empire by Thomas Cole. And it was painted in between um, 1836 to 1838. And the reason why I love it is because how beautiful it is. But it also shows kind of the circle of life. So it starts um, with kind of just like nature. Um, you can see some people, they're more like hunting, hunters and gatherers at this time, but then it kind of progresses and you can see some buildings starting and then it turns into the empire. Um, and I love the empire, it's so beautiful. But it then is destroyed because man, when they receive a lot, they turn prideful and uh, destruction happens. And then the last one, you can see how nature is now kind of reclaiming its land. This is also one of my favorites. It's called Dance at Le Moulin de Galais by Renoir. And as we can see, it is a party scene of the 1800s. And um, it is very different than other kinds of art because it's not only about the beauty of art, but it's about the ways of life that were happening at the time. And Renard uses a lot of black in this photo and people didn't use black either because it didn't create a lot of depth, but he is able to use it with efficiency. And so as we can see, it is a dancing scene 
Uh, and there is a couple right here that they're looking at us as if they want us to join the dance with them.